Hello YouTube chess lovers my friends this is Gunjan here Happy Christmas to all of you and today is a very special day for me because GJ Chess has reached more than 10,000 subscribers I like to thank you from bottom of my heart and all the credit goes to you guys thank you for your wonderful ongoing support in today's lecture Dirty Chess Tricks 5 I like to show you some of the nice chess tricks exist against the Philado defense now before we move on once again I like to mention that here I'm only going to cover the tricks I'm not covering the whole theory so if you have any doubt please look out the theory section of this variation after e4 e5 and knight to f3 the usual response from the black side is the classical which is knight to c6 or the other defense is the Petrov defense but there is a third alternative and that start with the move d6 and this is known as a Philador defense eventually Philador defense lost its popularity because of the very dangerous central attack by the white and that start with the move d4 you can see I have highlighted by the arrows over here black has few options but amongst them e captures d4 leads to a very passive position for black and same can be said by knight to f6 which can be easily met by d captures e4 so other two moves need to be considered and the first move I like to consider over here is knight to d7 and this is probably the starting point of the Philado defense well here there are few moves but the best move from the white perspective is bishop to c4 and it contains lots of tricks once again black has few options but believe it or not they all leads to a very miserable position and it's a great fun to watch all of them so let's see each by turn first move I want to consider is knight g to f6 so nature looking move developing a kingside piece but once again it leads to a disaster after d captures e5 here black has three options but all leads to worse position for black if d captures e5 then after a very simple knight to g5 black has a huge problem defending the f7 and I don't think so any, there is any satisfactory way to defend this pawn so that's not good if knight captures e4 then after queen to d5 black is in a great danger of losing a piece because not only white is threatening to capture this knight but white is also threatening to mate black on f7 so black has to more or less forget about the piece and try to defend the f7 and the third option which is knight captures e5 once again leads to favorable position for white so here white will continue with knight captures knight and after d captures knight white will give this wonderful check which is bishop cross f7 and black king will capture this bishop for a glance it looks like white gained the queen of the black but after the whole sequence which is bishop check and there's a discord attack to the queen so queen has to drop back to d2 and after bishop captures queen and knight captures after the whole transaction white emerge with a clear pawn up and a better position so that means at this position knight g to f6 is prohibited let's look at the another move which is bishop to e7 after bishop to e7 once again white will capture the e5 pawn and black has two options if d captures e5 then after queen to d5 once again black is having some problem on the f7 square and the only way to defend this square is by playing knight to h6 which can be easily made by bishop captures h6 and black has the only choice left is to castle on the king side afterwards white will just simply drop that bishop back and emerge with a clear piece up if at this point knight captures e5 then white will capture this knight and after black recapture with the pawn white has a sneaky move that is queen to h5 so hitting the two soft spot and black cannot defend both of them so in this variation let's say after black plays g6 to save the mate white queen will simply snap up the e5 pawn and at least remain a pawn up so that means bishop e7 is also prohibited you might think moves such as h6 will stop any tricks by white but witness yourself because once again white is going to capture the e pawn 
and black capture with the knight then white will capture this knight and after black recapture we have this bishop captures f7 and at least white will gain a pawn in this variation so very obvious is at this point black has to capture with the pawn so d captures e5 and now white has this amazing piece sacrifice that is bishop captures f7 king to e7 looks hopeless so black has to accept this sacrifice and after this white has this knight check now please note this knight is pinned so that means black has only few options left with the king and all of them leads to a quick checkmate by white so let's see all of them first book if king to e7 then knight to g6 will gain at least a rook if the king goes to the e8 square then queen to h5 is a deadly check and that means the black king will be on the dance floor so a simple line run like this so king to e7 and then queen to f7 and the dance begin with king to d6 and we have some moves like this afterwards black king will be checkmated after king to e6 queen to d5 check and king to f6 leads to a very fast checkmate so we should see this move so here white will continue with queen check and after black recapture bishop check and king to d4 and queen to d5 as a checkmate last but not least black has the move king to f6 afterwards it doesn't look like white has anything concrete but believe it or not white has a sneaky developing move which create a big big problem to the black king and that is the move knight to c3 here two moves has been tried if black plays bishop to b4 pinning that knight then white can play the move queen to d4 and not only white is threatening the bishop but what is also threatening to give a discover check to the black king so a simple line can run like this so bishop captures c3 and after b captures c3 the best move suggested by fritz is queen to e8 afterwards white can simply snap up that knight and not only white regain the piece but white has attack to boot in the second line black greedily capture that piece so king captures e5 i got this position in one of my game and i must admit i was enjoying the black king dance so here i continue with the move queen to d5 check and after king to f6 queen to f5 check and after king to e7 knight to d5 check of course and following moves are like this so my opponent king run like a hell but after a few moves like this i made the checkmate the final move we have is the move c6 but here white can again continue with the move d captures e5 and black has to play d captures e5 because if black captures with the knight then the familiar trick happens which is knight captures knight and after d captures e5 we have a lovely bishop cross f7 here instead of immediately capturing the knight if your opponent try to be smart with the queen check so queen to a5 check then white can continue with the move knight to c3 and after d captures e5 white can develop all of his pieces starting with the move queen to h5 so threatening on f7 and a simple line can run like this so after g6 queen to f3 which are once again renewing the threat to f7 so that more or less force black to play queen to c7 afterwards white can play the move bishop to g5 and you can already see although material is balanced white has almost developed all of his pieces and white has a flexibility of castling with side so that means knight captures e5 is prohibited that leads to the only move left that is d captures e5 here white will continue with the move knight to g5 attacking f7 so knight at 6 is forced and now white will castle on the king side and at first sight it looks like bishop to e7 is a very obvious move because it's hitting the knight and also black is one step away from the castle well all looks good and rosy for black except white next move that is knight to e6 bam so hitting the queen hitting the g7 and i think some of the good top players including anand get this position lucky them so black response is forced black has to accept this piece sacrifice afterwards white will continue with the move bishop captures at 6 and black cannot capture this piece if black capture the bishop then after queen check and king to f8 
white has this move bishop captures e6 which leads to the checkmate on f7 and the only way to defend the checkmate is by a queen to e8 but queen captures at 6 and this is a checkmate and many people has fallen into this one even though let's say after bishop captures at 6 if your opponent doesn't capture this bishop and played a strong move that is knight to b6 white will continue here with the move queen to h5 check and both the move king to f8 and king to d7 can be successfully made by f4 and rook to d1 so the only good move left is g6 and afterwards white will just drop this queen back to the e2 and although if you look at the position carefully the material is balanced white has this wonderful bishop sitting on h6 with stopping black to castle on the king side and black has this horrible double pawns and that is more than enough compensation to win the game so those are some of the wonderful tricks exist in knight to d7 variation now let's look at some of the tricks exist in the move f5 which is known as filador counter gambit after the move f5 it's not advisable for white to taking either of the pawns instead of this white should continue with the move bishop to c4 and again the ball is back into the black squad because if black is going to capture either of the pawn then there are some nasty tricks waiting to be hit so let's see them first obvious looking move is f captures e4 which has a merit of hitting the knight and here white has this amazing piece sacrifice that is knight captures e5 no matter how black react for example whether black capture the knight or push forward it all leads to a bad position to the black if pawn captures knight then after this queen check black is in a great great difficulties because the simple looking move g6 can lose a rook in the corner so that's not possible and if the king goes to the e7 then after queen captures e5 white queen is asking black where are you going sweetie and after king to d7 queen to e6 will simply trap the black sweetie so that's not good either the last move king to d7 will allow black king to come to the dance floor once again after queen to f5 check I got this position in one of my game and the game continues like this so after king to c6 I simply capture the e pawn and now there are so many threats are looming so the first threat is queen to b5 uh, I can also capture this e pawn uh, there's also threat of bishop to f4 so all in all after long thinking my opponent responded over here with the move a6 but after this the task become very easy for me so game continues like this I give him this d5 check and after king to b6 I just give this another bishop e3 check and after few moves like this I made him the checkmate so that means at this position pawn captures e5 is not good if black plays the move d5 then after once again queen check and g6 white will simply capture that pawn and the edge pawn is pinned so black cannot capture the knight and white is threatening to capture the rook that means black response is pretty much forced black has to play first of all knight to f6 hitting the queen and here white will continue with the move queen to e5 check and no matter how black plays this position white will have a winning continuation after all the fireworks so let's see them after bishop to b7 knight captures bishop and queen captures knight here white has this move bishop to g4 and two continuation has been tried in the first move white capture the queen but after very simple d captures e5 hitting the knight and if the knight moves then the d5 pawn drops so black has to forcefully accept this bishop and after white will gain the knight and after this not only white is a clear pawn up but black's king side pawn are shattered instead of this if black capture the bishop so d captures c4 then after very simple bishop captures f6 hitting the rook and hitting the queen black has to forcefully accept the queen trade and after this once again white emerge with a clear pawn up and black's king position is shattered so all in all f captures e4 it's not advisable in this position if black plays e captures d4 
then white should continue with the move knight to g5 looking at the f7 so black response is forced black has to play knight to h6 afterwards white will simply castle on the king side and here two moves has been tried both leads to wonderful tricks so we should see them in the first move black plays bishop to e7 afterwards white has this lethal check that is queen to h5 and g6 is not possible because queen captures h6 and white gain a valuable piece so that means king has to come to the f8 afterwards knight to f7 will fork major pieces so only way to come out is moving the queen so let's say queen goes to the d8 afterwards white has this amazing shot bishop captures at 6 and black cannot capture this and that means white will emerge with a clearly superior position now instead of bishop to e7 if white goes for the pawn hunt so f captures e4 then white can play this tricky move rook to e1 and once again two moves has been tried in first variation black plays the move e3 so queen is hitting the knight here white should ignore this and sacrifice the knight with a very amazing initiative so here white will continue with the move queen captures d4 and after queen captures g5 white will take this pawn with the bishop position is very very dangerous for black because not only this bishop is hitting the queen but once this bishop moves then there will be a discover attack to the black king in this game black continue with the move queen to g4 but after bishop to g5 black king doesn't survive longer so let me show you the rest of the moves very quickly black plays queen to d7 afterwards white play a strong but very effective move king to e3 so going for the mate idea in the game black plays this c5 but that doesn't stop the mate because after queen to d8 and king to c7 bishop to d8 is a checkmate instead of e3 if black plays the move d5 then once again white can sacrifice a piece via knight captures e4 and no matter how black recapture black has the lost position so let's see if d captures c4 then after queen check one of my opponent blocked this check with the knight but to his horror he found out that knight to f6 is a checkmate so that is wonderful right instead of this if d captures e4 then white can throw this check with rook captures e4 and after bishop to e7 first white will rip open the king side via bishop captures h6 and after g captures h6 once again our old friend that is queen to h5 check the only move left is king to d7 afterwards rook captures d4 will finish black off so here black doesn't have any option black has to play bishop to d6 afterwards queen to f5 check king to e7 white just checkmate the black king on the f7 so those are some of the wonderful tricks exist in philado counter gambit by looking at these tricks today you can meet the philado defense very confidently and you have every chance to finish your opponent early in the game well thank you for watching this video and i'll meet you soon bye